Now what's interesting is the thing's going to miss anyway. It's 400 and some odd thousand miles, and I'll show you that in a second, but I think it's on the 12th. Okay, but it's not even being shown because you got to really go to NASA and EO to find stuff. And the closest thing I can see this year is I'm going to be on the, I think it is a 12th, hang on. Here's all the USA earthquakes in the last 14 days, so I wanted to show you that. I can refresh this and see what we get now, but uh, this is all the USA action here lately in the last 12, 14 days. And since this gets taken by B, this is a stereo behind, and you can see the sun down here. More than likely, I think this is probably Mercury here. Not, it could be Saturn, Mercury, Venus, doesn't really matter. It could be a different planet too, but the, the most unique, I blew it up to a thousand and checked these dark planets out, which would be behind the sun, because B shoots from an angle as close as it can get up by the supergiants and behind. Okay, this is from B. I'll go back up here to show you the date and time, I guess. C3 is basically behind, 12th of March. Or sorry about the 12th, the, the 6th, okay? So this is today's shot. As you can see, my time and date down here. Sorry about that, reading the 12 off of that. Ain't going to take time to edit. Don't have time to editing. Just throw the data. But very interesting. Big dark planets, and you can see the magnetism lines on them. Big dark planet, big dark planet, and we'll put it to 400. Drop it down, and you can see this stuff better. Okay, those are those two big planets right there. We thank Navy for the great shots. So, hurry up and spooge this video out and watch the CME one before this. And like I say, NBC was even, you know, they made a remark. So, anyway, about something, but it's, it's they said 2012, I thought 14 or something like that, but this is condition 6, which is the highest condition. Well, there is stuff I found that's condition 7, and you can look at and I got the distance too, and you can see that it's pretty much a match up on Earth. You can't even really see Earth on the trajectory thing, but there is Earth there behind the 2012 DW60. Okay, so this is the closest thing that I've been able to find of light that's going to be hitting this year. And basically, we go down to the data on it, and the, it might. Uh, I mean, the probability is the highest this year, but it's on the March 12th. And it's that uh, the ne the minimum it actually could get would be this here. So I'm pretty sure that's what I calculated in here. Let me see if I made a mistake on that. And yeah, what I put in, I've computed in how close it'll be to the moon. It'll be the closest to the moon, so the Earth is pretty damn safe because this is going to actually be this how far from the moon, okay? Because this is the moon, okay? One minute after. Zulu time on that date, or no, no, yeah, one o'clock in the afternoon. So, thirteen forty-nine Zulu on the twelfth. Okay, but the interesting thing, like I say, R S O E needs to wake up on this one, and either that or the government told them they didn't want to have people scared of it. But the idea it's a hell of a long ways out, so we'll show you how far that distance is, just on the moon alone. And then the idea that you can see on the chart that even the Earth is farther out, it, the closest it would have been is 0 0.00637 AU. So this is the distance it was supposed to be to uh, the moon. So, so we take a gander at this. It's only 417,000 in 53 miles in 0.3176 of a mile. Okay, so that's going to be a pretty fair distance even away from the moon. So that's the closest I can find. Check this out. Because when you're at Neo and you're just looking, it's the closest thing that I can see going to be on. And then, but it's interesting that it's not on ROS OE. So, unless I'm missing it on our RSOE. So, I can take a look at the 12th and take a look and see. But otherwise, that's this is the closest that we should see this year. And I could be wrong. I think I might have found one closer. But I was just gandering real fast because the idea that NBC was squawking their mouth. So, they're basically trying to put fear into people. So, anyway, because this is NEO's NASA site. And that's the closest thing I can find so far. So, look for... 
2012 14A or whatever the hell they saw it they see it said or on their deal or something. So either that or maybe there's something to worry about because NASA's hiding it. And like I say on the 12th, you got two objects, but they're close to IU, but not that close because even you see here closer IU there, closer IU right now on the 6th, and. If you pay attention, Dutch said that the California old Pascagua, Pascagua crater or something is starting to show some plumes. So, and then uh, this smaller, smaller. You see, so the one object that I did show you, which is this, is only going to get close to the moon. Okay, so like I say, it would be something that would get in the way of Earth's rotation or its path because of the CME action which is what you got to sun and CMEs sun and CMEs is what you need to be concerned about and as you see we are out of the fall solstice system but we're still getting stuff now that is the moon and I think it's Mercury and Mars or something like that because I looked at the map but anyway check this out since I pulled up the data there you go 0 0.593 IU so still a pretty good distance out but we have some fast moving objects though that are farther out and even that was 67.4 kilomiles a second. So all these stuff moving, this stuff was way out. This stuff up here was way farther out than this stuff. It was like three times the distance out that as this. So but still a lot of action at nighttime to watch. Yep, the sun's still there, but check out the huge planets that are floating around up by the sun. Check that out there. See that? Because that's huge. The Earth would just be but a very small little spot of the, any of these grains of sand that you see. So these are huge planets out there. Check that out right there, that planet there, and we, like we've seen before, these planets going by. So any of these big, big dark or anything like that, huge, either comets or stars flying by or planets. And as I show you on C3, you get a real good shot of those two dark planets back there. I mean, it just comes to attention. You can see it right off the bat. You know, you see some stuff there, and then I blow it up to 400 and slide across, and you will see what I was looking at was this here, and then you can see those two huge planets there. Okay, and then you go ahead and zoom it up to 1,000. And once again, there's a nice shot of them. Pretty unique. And behind the sun, because this is... And then check that bigger one out there, too. So, tons of planets out there, folks. Tons of planets out in the space that they don't let us know about. Tons of planets. You can see these two plainly here, and you can see that one there pretty plainly right there. So, great Soho and Sechi are doing a great job at Navy, giving us great shots from out in outer space. Okay. March 6th. 2042 UTC Zulu time, Green Witch time. So let's pop this down to. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what you're looking at right there. And then that dark one there, I think. So. There's all the U.S. quakes. Let me hit it now. Refresh it. And it'll strobe up. And there you go. So. And it'll reload here in a second. There you go. There's refreshed. And then we'll scoot back out over time. And that's all the quakes that have been hitting the United States there. Okay. Quakerama. 12 to 14 days is this. Not even that, I don't think. And basically, here with uh, B, the behind shot, you see that there is two planets. Because the only thing that, that that we could even notice, if you look at a map, and I'm pretty sure this is probably Venus over here, uh, but that could be Venus. But then there, whatever, no matter what, there's two planets, and there's two magnetisms. No matter what, boom, boom, and they don't want you to see it. There you go. And also, a dark shadow is blocking out supergiant's light. So, a very interesting shot. Fresh, as you can see the date. And let's give you a, show, a close grouping. Because here you got Mars, Venus, Earth, and Saturn. And we know that we're not cl that close to the Sun. So, you know that's not... You know that it's basically 
there's you got Mars, Venus, Earth, and Saturn. So when we go back to that, you got Mercury and Saturn. This is fresh. Boom, boom, boom. And you got bigness. Big here, big here. And also big something is helping us cool off for at least for this shot. So here's H12A's shot. So as you can see, that cluster there behind Earth there will blow that up. Our best guess is we think it's Pleiades there that's behind Earth there because Earth's here and that's whatever that's back there and it'll blow up to a thousand. So there you go, blown up. No, we've seen it before. So, so like I said, one of them could have been Venus because we see that. We know we've been seeing Venus do that wild action from the supergiants and so forth and so on. But what's making the big shadow right now? And then also, uh, as you can see, also some brightness there. That's pretty cool here, huh? Check that out. Right next to Venus. And then, but the idea, what is that? Because on this shot here, we got, you know, one of them could be Venus, but what is the other one? And what's the big in darkness? And it should be Mars with Venus, but why the hell wouldn't they mark it as Mars and Venus here? Okay. And it really shouldn't be because this is B. And we know the sun in the well is over here being blocked. So, and Earth's farther away. So, Venus and Mars. Because more than likely, that should be Mars right there, that magnetic line right there that's next to Venus. Right there that I got to blow it up at 400. So, you get a good whatever, no matter what. You can see that there. So, it might just be layers. But you know that more than likely, this is Mars back here, probably. But no matter what, what it are. Because they didn't just cut them out and forget to mark them. You see what I'm saying? So no matter what, you got two huge, and then also no matter what, hugeness blocking something on the sun in the supergiants. Burnt out light bulb? <laughs> Laughing out loud. Laughing L-O-F-L. -L. Okay. So no matter what, there you go. Your eyes don't lie to you. And we'll take a peek at the volcano too over there in Japan, see what's going on. And like I say, Dutch and everybody were saying that there's probably a Pisagua. I apologize for if I say it wrong. Pisagua. That's the best I can do. Pisagua. It's over the volcano down in California. So check out that. There's a plume going on over there. I don't think an eruption, but they're just showing throwing off some heat, some steam, a plume or something like that. They're seeing on radar and are on satellite shots or something. So anyway, let's take another, okay, we got the volcano up over in Japan. So there you go. And we showed you the stars earlier. Watch the video before this one. I'll just put stars on that one, I guess. Okay, stars being a black, check that one out, and you'll see some dark of where those stars were doing their action. Because the sun's starting to come up over there now, so keep an eye on this to be some action, maybe. So... So no matter what, this is very interesting on this shot because of what is not shown or what is being shown. Okay, so maybe it could be those what we've seen on uh, Alaska three two on B. So be interesting to know because like I was saying that that could be Mercury. Check this out. Like I was saying on today's shot here, this could be Mercury. You see what I'm saying? That could be Mercury and then that could be these two dark planets right there. So it kind of comes together pretty cool. Let me see if I get this up to a thousand so you can see these two and then basically that would make it sense to be, that could make it sense to be these two big objects right here that we see in that recent shot on three from today. Okay. Because that pretty much more than likely that small planet there and that shot on three might be Mercury. Like I said earlier, there's very high odds that that could be Mercury right there, and it really should be, and more than likely that that's probably our two big dark objects right there. And there's one up to a thousand, and it's just like even the grouping on it. So, pretty interesting, those two big whatever the hell's up by Mercury, because more than likely that's Mercury. Very high odds that that's Mercury. Okay, and that just gives you an idea of how small it is because it's just low, showing bright because it's getting all illuminated by the sun and the supergiants here. Okay, so cause Mercury isn't that big. Okay, just looks that damn big because of all the glow from the supergiants and the sun. 
So and then you also have this other stuff that's around Mercury, if that is Mercury. This stuff here, 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 here.